a city of angels with the palm trees I see the lights, camera actions all around me I'm trying to win now, they used to doubt me I'm trying to win now, they used to doubt me Cause I'm in LA with it, for the vibes I got a California tea up on the ride They ask me how I'm living, I'm living right, yeah Now is you with me cause there ain't no switch inside, yeah Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. John Lopez UK here today, and today I'm showcasing the Ripples Liberty One Pack 5M. Let's get right into it. So, this is one of the vehicles. I'll go over everything. Not, don't lock the siren box. Right, so... I'll go through our spawn all the vehicles. So, everything is here. They're all labeled Liberty One, and then the model year, and then the vehicle. So, let's go over everything, starting with the Crown Victoria. And I'll showcase one of the new unique models. So, this is the Crown Victoria. Without any additional lighting, the old vehicles are pretty basic. They all look something like this. Flashing headlights, you have some hideaway lights in the fenders. You have some beeper lighting. Traffic advisor is there, and then you have some additional lights in the rear, tail light flashers, and the strobes in the reverse lights. All factory uh, flashers. So, rear traffic advisor on this model is a... It's also a Wayland. Not entirely sure which model, but it is a Wayland. Right. Liberty 1 is extra 1. It's a Liberty 1 light bar. It's the first generation. Um, this looks alright. This one, the front end looks a little bit based off the Texas DPS one, but I guess it's not. Lighting is very simple three head on each side and then the takedowns right in the middle which do flash and then side patterns you have alley lights and just red and blues in the rear overall very nice extra two is the Wayland. not in, i don't think this is no this is a Wayland inner edge then you have the front windscreen lights After that, you have extra four, just a Satina push bar with a Wayland siren speaker mounted to it, and Wayland ions on the front, and then these on the sides are uh, not entirely sure what those are. Extra five are uh, HD wraparounds. Extra six are the dual spotlights down, and extra seven are dual spotlights. The well, dual spotlights with the driver side up has a very nice halogen light texture inside. And the spotlight does fully function. Extra eight are the cruise lights for the roof. Extra nine are the additional grill lights. Let me remove the push bar for a grill. So four additional ones up front, Wayland ions, of course. Extra 10 is roof mounted antennas. Extra 11 is a boot mounted antenna. And extra 12 is Ah, takedowns for the light bar. These do function. When you need them to function. It doesn't work on the Crown Vic, but they do work. I've tried them. After that, we have... What else do we have? Liveries. I'll go over that. So, with the liveries. Livery 0 is the San Andreas State Police livery. Obviously based off the CHP with the service pride and dedication up front, police up front, and then state police in the rear with a very unique chevron design. You have emergency 911 fire police medical. Very nice, you have the unit numbers on the roof. So livery one is a Polar Bauer style of livery for it, also based off CHP. And then you have extra two, which is a ghost livery color can be swapped to whatever you'd like same with the last one which is a unmarked livery overall very good well, let's go over all the other stuff right after that we have liberty 2013 fpiu so now that you know all the basics oh this is unique let me explain this all of these vehicles that can have it will have it this is the Wayland outer edge it's a very nice rear piece, rather than installing a traffic advisor. Looks beautiful. And it does hide the design. So, extra one roof mounted Liberty One. Inner edge, windscreen lights, Satina push bar, full HD wraparounds. 
extra six is the dual spotlights down, dual spotlights up, LED spotlights. Do move and everything. Then we have extra eight, which are cruise lights. Extra nine are additional lights in the grill. Then ten are antennas, antennas, and then extra twelve is the takedowns. Liveries are uh, same exact thing. Right after that, we have the Liberty fourteen charger. Same exact lighting style with the traffic advisor in this model. Windscreen lights, Satina push bar, wrap arounds. Let me remove them. Extra six is the dual spotlights down. We can have dual spotlights up. Extra eight is cruise lights. Extra nine are four grill lights. Extra ten is the roof mounted antennas, boot mounted antennas, and Ah, takedowns. Liveries are uh, the exact same thing. This one does have a 2014 charger, which is not available for a CHP, so it does look very nice. After that, we have the 14 RAM. These rims are actually more detailed for the newer generation vehicles, so love the attention to detail. That's really the only modification done to it. And instead of plate lights, this one has the ones mounted at the bottom. I don't know why they, they're not flashing, but they should be. Roof mounted Liberty light bar. We have this one actually. This one doesn't have a traffic advisor. Instead, it has flashers built into the reverse lights. Extra three early windscreen lights. Satina push bar wrap around. Dual spotlights down, dual spotlights up. What's the uh, ah, cruise lights? Extra nine are the grill lights, and then extra ten is roof mounted antennas, roof mounted antennas, and then takedowns. Liveries they also include the exact same styles. We have the 2016 Explorer, which is the 2016 FPIU. Don't think I spawned it. There we are. So this one also has the Wayland Outer Edge, just like 2013. And I know all of you know all the extras already, so I'll just go over everything. And that is it. Liveries are the exact same thing. And this one does have a roof spoiler that is sort of painted in this. You can get the all white one. I guess, I don't know if you can change the color of that. Most likely you can't. Right, after that we have 2018 Charger. This one is a all-wheel drive. Would have been a V8, but it's, uh, it's not properly put on. I actually haven't shown off any of the equipment. The vehicles do have, I don't know what that is. Is it Bombay? No, is it extras? No. Okay, well it's got a box in the rear and I guess that's really it. Also the cage in the back is split into two different compartments so you can have two different prisoners in it. Lighting, I believe, well we'll get, we're gonna have to see that. So, looks like a Whelan system, not entirely sure which one at the moment. Whelan Sencom. Not sure which one. And the radio is just a Motorola. Right. All the extras, I'll throw everything on. Liveries also include the exact same. All of those. All right. After that, we have the 2018 Taurus. It's got, it looks alright. Liveries I'll showcase. We got the all white one, we got this one, and then 
fully marked. I'll leave the polar bower. Right, extras are gonna be, this one has a rear traffic visor, it does. And we'll just, yeah, we'll throw everything on there except for uh, the takedowns and that. Yeah, very nice. Then we have the 2019 Tahoe. There we are. The only issue is the windscreen does get dirty, so it does prevent the inner edge from being seen. Overall looks very good. Liberty 20 Explorer. So it's a 2020 FPIU. All deliveries are exactly the same. I'll leave the bower. Equipping everything. Not this one, and we'll leave 12. Oh, Satina push bar. Actually, without the push bar is what it looks like. With the push bar is what it looks like. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Has the inner, has the outer edge as well, which is unique for this vehicle because I did not know it fit the 2020, but apparently it did. All right. Right. So after that, we have the 21 Tahoe, which is the new model. So people have started to make models like this. I'm not sure where this one directly came from. Everything is fantastically detailed. Interior, the center console. Uh, everything looks like it's from the other models. Pedals look good. Yeah, not sure where this one came from, but definitely did a good job on it. Love the white. Then you got the ghost and then not, no markings at all. I'll leave the power. All right, and that's all the lighting. Also has the Wayland Outer Edge. Very, very good design. And I think that's it, unless there's another vehicle that I'm just not seeing. There are. There is the Caprice. Okay, black and white as well. Or you can have all of these. Love the fact the mirrors get colored in as well. I'll leave this one, why not? So extras include Liberty One and essentially all of the extras. Yeah, except for eight. Yeah, but it looks very good. I think it's actually daytime outside, so I'll just... Nope, still raining. Right, let's see what else we have. F-150, we have other ones, right? Nope, and then just the F-250. I assume they're both built on the exact same patterns and such, so there won't be... I'll just showcase that one and I'll be able to remove that. Okay. Pull the lighting attach. I love the uh, Wayland ions mounted to the uh, bed box. That's very unique. Still, these don't flash at the bottom. Don't know why. Unless they came on the model and no one wanted to use them. Alright. After that we have the 250. Just a little bit larger and uh, without any additional lighting it looks like this. But this one does flash. It's a... It's a whitish amber. Is it used for reverse lights? No it's not. All right. Yeah, 
Looks alright. Alright. Liveries as well. All white. Ghost and that one. All very good. If you want it, there's a link in the description below to where you can buy it on Ripples' website. And that will be all. That is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.